Yo, 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 what's up guys? It's Alec Mac 111 and today I'm gonna go over my loadout for American Mill Sims Operation Iron Horse, which I am currently in. I'm currently in the building, so I'm gonna go over my loadout real quick for you guys. No, I'm not gonna wear a giant orange. Hey everybody, you guys should shoot me. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, footage thing. No, I'm not gonna run this. I'm actually just gonna run a green flight suit. I'm actually playing for co with cost for the first time, so that'll be kind of cool and interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go from top to bottom on sort of what I run helmet setup wise. I'll go ahead and start with that. So obviously got my GoPro Hero 4 Silver to run all the gameplay footage and stuff. I might run my contour. I have my mount here if I ever want to need it. Um, got my dead right here for the night games. I have a cool IR reflective patch there. I have my ironclad patch, which is actually the first American Milsim game I went to. I have the bungee system up top. I'm gonna be running my standard ESS turbo fan glasses. I run ESS turbo fans for everything. I love those goggles, they're really great. Um, I'm also gonna run just a mesh, lower face mesh, just standard generic, but I really wanted to get into the, the real gear, like why I use it. I have in this an Ops Core h nape and then I have a Team Wendy pad set, which makes this thing literally feel like, uh, this is just a standard Emerson helmet, but it makes this thing feel super comfortable. It's perfectly fit for my size, and it's just really, really great. Actually, go on eBay, if you guys are looking for a new pad set, uh, Mitch, or, uh, Team Wendy Zorbium Zap Pads, I believe is what it is on eBay. And I got mine for like 12, I think they've gone up quite a bit now, but they're still like 20 bucks, and it literally just makes it so much more comfortable to use. So here I have my Cry JPC, this is my plate carrier, this is the main plate carrier I've run for like three years now, I love it. I have HSGI shoulder pads, I have my Team Stealth patch here, my McLovin, American Milsim, two of my four stars as of tomorrow that I'll have um, for Iron Horse. I run a double, on the side, so I get eight mags total. I don't have the enough mags right now, but I would fill the back behind this, so I'd run six mags on my front. These are all system of mags. I run a system of PTW, which we'll see here in a second. I run two mags on this side right here. I have an HSGI taco on the back up here. I'm gonna either run my tornado. I'm probably gonna run my tornado because I don't know how many mags I'll need, and there's a lot of buildings that you guys can tell here on this field, so I'll probably need that. That'll probably run the tornado for. And then I have my Pantac mini map right back here. I have, you can see that there's the medic thing right there. That is for American Milsim games. You have to have bandages to wrap around your arm. So wherever you get hit, wrapped around like your arm or your leg, wherever you get hit, you have to wrap a bandage around it. It has to go from like there to there. It's like a, uh, just something. If you, you can even use like a tourniquet if you want to. Um, like the real ones, but we usually just use like a, a big a giant band that just around it so that that like that's kind of with the American Mill Sim games. I will run an Enola Gay smoke in this middle pouch right here, or as you can tell right there. And then if I need to, I might run some emergency mags in the, pa the back. I'm gonna run, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in the actual backpack itself. I think I'm gonna run, I'm gonna have like, I'll have a water bottle and uh, maybe some BBs that are like packed can tight, like so, so I don't really. Um, have to like wiggle around at all. But this is my system of PTW. This is not exactly how I'm gonna run it because I literally just got it, I literally just unboxed it a few minutes ago, but it has a mission first tactical stock in the back. Um, it's a 2007, I believe, PTW. I'm still not exactly sure, like I said, I just got it. I'm gonna have Wallace from Z-Shot look it over in the morning and let him do his magic to it and touch, and touch whatever he wants to do and just make it look pretty. Right here on the back, I have a dual sling mount. Um, I have a Fight Club custom Magpul MOE grip. I'm probably gonna take this off as a Magmo grip but it's pretty cool. The spray paint job is eh. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna run it. Um, this right now is just holding the rail together because it needs to, I need to tighten it with an AR wrench. Um, and then I have just a standard Delta rail system. Probably gonna get, it's a 14.5 inch barrel gun, but this is how I'm gonna run it for this event. AFG 2 on the bottom here, which is perfect. That's like great, that's perfect length for kind of how um, I will all be shooting. I will run my flashlight. I, I don't know if I'm gonna run my flashlight yet. I've, decide, I've not decided. Probably just run it during the night portion of the game. Um, standard birdcage flash hydra on the end here. I'm just gonna try and make this quick. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this is informative for you guys, just so you can see. Hey, there's a giant orange person running around. I'm gonna shoot that guy. That's the guy I shot at. No, like I said, not gonna wear this. I'm gonna run my uh, tactical onesie, as I call it. But thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111. And I will BB Pews you guys later. Alec Mac 101 out. Da -da 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 -da.